Most of our cards have sold. We've turned 10K into about 50K roughly an hour. What's good YouTube? How y'all doing man? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're gonna get into how to make coins when you guys have no coins. A lot of people ask me, I have 2K, I have 5K, I have 10K. How do I make coins? We're gonna go through that today and I'm gonna explain to you guys and I'm actually gonna show you guys how to make these coins. If you guys are interested in buying Mutt Coins, go to my sponsor, easymuttcoins.com. Use code DOG for a 5% discount on checkout. I know you guys see that we have 500K, but we're just gonna utilize this as if we have zero coins. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna complete my solo challenges. It doesn't matter what level you are, you need to complete your two dailies so you can go ahead and get those free coins. Okay, so we got our 1K. Now we gotta go into the store and we gotta get our get a player pack. Now our get a player pack is gonna be the start of us making some coins right off the bat line. Like I said, we have no coins, so we had to do the solo challenges to get that 1K. Now, if you guys already have 1K, obviously this would be a little bit different, but since he's a silver card, we're just gonna go ahead and put him up on an auction block for 300 coins, whatever. We'll take the, the 250 back, right? We get our daily objectives. Now this is where 2,500 coins comes into handy. So we get 2,000 coins, right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check this. This is a set that I really think that is a good method for low levels. I'm gonna go ahead and check this harvest set and see how much these harvest players are going for. Cause if you could bag these and create these, let's see, they're going for about 2,000. They ain't selling. So let's just say newest 2,200. So I think about 1,800 is what they'll be selling for. Cause you need 174 and you need 175 gold player. If you sell it for 1,800, it's gonna take out 180 coins. So you're gonna get back about 1,600. So you would have to create it for about a thousand. What I would do first is I'm gonna go find the higher overall card. And even in this, like when you have a low amount of coins right here, even making 500 coins is great. 300 coins is great because you could do this so fast. And when they're selling really fast, that's just, it's better for you. So we're gonna go buy now and we're gonna try to see 800. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get one for a little cheaper. That already so. Oh, see, here we go. 500 right here. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, so we're going to buy two of these. I'm up, I think I'm going to buy two of these. So I'm going to put one in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a gold harvest player. I think I'm going to buy two of these because this is some good profit right here. Yeah, we're going to take we're going to take both of these, right? So we a 1,000 coins in. We, get, we use a 1,000. So now we got to go find our 74. And then once we find our 74, we already have another 75 that we're working with. So I'm going to go to 70 to 74. And if we can get this for 500, also, that'll just make it that much easier. Cause then we only spend a thousand, we make 600 coins, 400. I'm taking it, that's solid. Right now we're in 900 coins. We put them up for 1800 and watch how fast he'll sell. All right, so go harvest player and watch, just watch how fast he'll sell. We can put them up for 2000, I can put them up for 1900. I'm gonna be a little greedy and put them up for 1900, I think. So let's put them up for 1900. And let's just see how fast he sell. Cause right there, I think that's like what? 700, 800 coins. We gotta find another, another 70 to 74 so we can create our next set. We're gonna try to stay in that at below 500. If we can stay below 500, we'll be good. 350, this is perfect. This is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the set. And then we're gonna do our other one. And basically, you're just going to be recreating these until you have like a decent amount of coins. Now, I could have bought that other one to say that for later. I mean, it's still early in the day. So, like, these cars might not sell as fast as I would like them to. But, hey, they're selling. That's all that matters. So, this one going into the set, too. We just copped him. And we're going to put this man up for, I think I'm going to put him up for 1,800 see how fast he sells. Let's see if this other one sells by the time we finish this. Nope. So, we're going to go same card. We're going to go 1,800. Now these cars don't take an hour to sell. They really don't. Um, these cars, it might take like 10 minutes. It might take 10 minutes to sell. And then once they're sold, you're good to go. So we ended up losing audio. I thought I had the mic unmuted, but it was muted. So I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what happened. So basically what we did is we went ahead and we created these harvest players over and over again until we had about 10K. Now, something that I suggested to you guys in this video that you guys are not seeing, but I did suggest this is try to get the cars for as cheap as you possibly can. Now, be patient. Don't just jump in and be like, okay, I can't find a car for 500 coins. 
and hop out of the filter. Be patient because I'm seeing these cars for 250. I'm seeing these cars for 150. I'm seeing these cars for 350. I'm seeing these cars so cheap that you're making about 1K per car, or you're making about 1,100 coins per car. And what I want to do is put that into a perspective of if you are sniping a car, right? So let's say you snipe in the 88 overall, it's worth 18K. You snipe it for 15K. You put in 15K, you put it up for 20K. You're going to get back 18K. You're going to make 3K on that car, but you spent 15K to make 3K. Here, we are spending less than 1K to make these cards and make another 1K. So it was times where we were spending 800 coins to make 1100 coins you know what i'm saying so you're, we're spending such a small amount of coins to make such a large amount with the amount that we're spending now the next thing we did is we went and did get a player packs now the reason why i wanted to do the get a player packs was because i thought it was a be it would be a good idea to give yourself an opportunity to get a better pool than just sitting here sniping and you know looking for gold cars i personally got bored of looking for gold cars so what i did is i went and did get a player packs now hear me out the best way to do to get a player packs is get the player packs right upgrade your silvers to gold cards now if you pull a high overall gold card like a 75 to 79 you're only spending 500 coins on that gold card so then use that smaller gold card the 70 through 74 and make the harvest player and take a 800 coin profit on that card so then you're taking these two cards that you got for 500 coins each and then you're making a profit of 800 coins from doing a get a player pack when those two cards right there cost you 500 coins to get each so together they're a thousand coins you put them in a set you sell a harvest player at 2000 it sells for 1800 you make 800 coins by doing the get a player packs i personally feel like the get a player packs will set you up and put you in a good position now we did the get a player packs our luck with the power-ups was kind of insane but not insane we pulled one power up that ryan jensen now i didn't expect him to be going for 35k but he was going for actually like 45 we put him up for 35 because i didn't think he was gonna sell but he really sold so we made 32 31k off of that card but if you subtract that ryan jensen and say hey you know, because we pulled a bunch of 84s. We pulled a couple 84s, and I, I felt like those were solid pulls. Like, those pulls are going to happen. You're going to get some of those pulls when you are pulling these get a player packs. So, it wasn't far fetched. Now, if we would have pulled like a series redux, a 98 overall or 95, I would have took that completely out. But because we pulled a power up, I felt like, you know, this could happen to you guys. Now, I'm not going to say you're going to sit here and do what I did and turn 10K into the coins that I turned it into but you guys can turn that 10k into a good amount of coins now you guys just seen me take zero coins i took zero coins and turned it into about 48 47k basically 50k in less than an hour you guys can do this too don't get caught up in oh i'm not making a lot of coins oh this oh this oh that listen sit down take your time check the prices for these methods and do them recreate these methods over and over again use different methods to make coins if you guys want to see a better version of this or another version of this where we take this 50k and we turn it to 100 200 drop a like on the video okay so most of our cards have sold and we've turned 10k into about 50k in roughly an hour easy very 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 easy so at this point we just have to wait for the cars to sell and that ryan jensen actually sold for i think about 40k he sold for like 35k let's see he sold for 30k 35k so that put a big lump sum on us but if we take out that ryan jensen and we don't get that 30k we let's just say we don't get that 30k we add him we'll say that's an extra about 6k 6k roughly we take out about 32k so we would have still made somewhere around 5k turning our 11k into about 16k without the ryan jensen but he is a power up car so i don't think it's that lucky i didn't even know he was worth that much i mean we could have pulled way more power ups and made way more coins but if you guys want to see a episode of me turning the rest of these coins into a hundred k within an hour Go ahead and let's get 150 likes on this video. If we get 150 likes on this video, I will turn this 
50 to 60K into 100 plus in an hour. I'm gonna see you on the next video. Oh, 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 oh,